Okay, so I'm just gonna talk through some of my frustrations with this car. Uh, I got it back from the detailer um, who, um, who did a paint correction and uh, PP, uh, PPF'd um, the front area, the side, and that's pretty much it. And then ceramic coated the whole car. That part was fine, so I'm pretty happy with that, although it was pretty expensive. Um, that's not the issue. The issues right now are the brakes squeal, and so I ordered new rotors and pads. Um, and the car is, like I said before, it's just way too low. So I just filled up the tank for the first time this morning, and um, I believe because of the weight up front, uh, it sits a little bit lower and you know just going out in my driveway I'm like hitting something solid in the front and so a combination of the fact that I can't um, you know drive over certain bumps and the brakes it's just I can't enjoy this car I can't like enjoy driving this car uh, the other thing is that it it's it gets dirty or smudges like unbelievably quick. Like it doesn't seem like I'm touching it and there's smudges on it. So I don't know where that's coming from or that's just a, a factor that's a black car. And I did get it pink corrected. So it's, it's pristine and any smudge will show, but I swear it's, it's areas that I don't even touch and I see smudges. So that's, I think it's going to drive me nuts. The other thing is inside, I can't seem to, figure out how to set the key fob in such a way to where my seat doesn't change. So every time I lock and unlock the car, it goes to a particular position in the seat and uh, it's not my seating position where, where I left it last. And I tried to program it this morning, um, you know, pushing these two buttons and then had the key inside with the ignition on. So that's bothering me. The other thing, the radio, <clears throat> I can't um, connect like my phone to the radio. And so my only options are like FM, AM, and then the three CDs that the previous owner has. And of the three, the only one that I can tolerate is the Rolling Stones. So that's inside the CD player. Um, so those are some of my frustrations. Um, you know, and there's other things like this right here, I'm not sure if it's going to come up, but this area right here um, is is marred or the, the clear coat or the plastic is damaged, I believe, from a spray that the previous owner had done. And um, I'm going to have to figure out how to polish that out or just replace this whole front bezel area or whatever it's called, the dash center pod. Because that kind of bothers me. Every time I look at the car or look down, I'm seeing those smudges that I can't I can't get rid of. So it's all along here, here, and then right down here and here. Um, okay, so besides that, it drives really well. So that's one aspect. When I actually can drive it and I'm not braking, it drives pretty good. It's a lot more powerful than my 928. Um, the interior came out really well after the detailing, different marks, um, that I thought wouldn't be able to, uh, be removed, are removed, so that part's good. Um, little things like this, I don't, this little rubber piece is not sitting in correctly, so I gotta figure out how to, like, there's a little slot for that, and it doesn't, just doesn't sit in all the way, that's as far as it goes. So, there's that. Um, the key fob, I just, I can't enjoy the car. I can't enjoy driving the car. So since I can't drive it, I'm looking at it and then all these visual imperfections are showing itself and that's bothering me. Oh, the other thing is the windshield has so many like pits in it, like in the glass on the outside. So. I mean, it's like as if it went through some kind of sandstorm, which makes me either think that the front has been repainted or 
the guy had some PPF on there and he removed it, but I, I suspect that he repainted it because the front just looks too pristine compared to the windshield. The windshield, you know, if this has 20, let's say it has 19,997 miles on it. And the windshield is like worse than my 928, which is a 1985 with 97,000 miles on it. And so this guy has driven it through some something that pitted the windshield like so much, but yet the front hood and bumper look fine. Um, anyways, that's kind of bothering me. I'm trying to figure out also how to turn off the DRLs. I probably just have to read the manual like thoroughly. I kind of skimmed it the first night I had this car. And um, anyways. I gotta revisit it and find out how to do all these things, like program it, and whatnot. Um, like this is a common thing where this area, I guess, collects a lot of leaves, and there's a grill that you can put over it. I guess it's a quick, easy mod that you just snap on. I actually thought <clears throat> I wouldn't have an issue because I don't, I don't know. I kind of feel like I don't uh, drive around in areas that have a lot of leaves and whatnot, but I already saw a couple of them, so I'm gonna probably have to get that um, get that modification. Um, anyway, so I hesitate making a video because I just, I'm not jazzed about the car yet. Like, it, I think I will be. I just can't enjoy it right now. And it's one of the most frustrating things. Um, oh, so the other thing is I wanted to raise it. So I was going to raise the car, you know, work on this car and raise it, lift it up and then remove the tire and adjust the shock so that I could raise the car by like 10 mils just across the board, just starting off 10 mils, just raise it all up. But the problem is it's so low that my jack doesn't go low enough. So I need to get another, like a super low profile jack to to just raise the car and start working on it. Um, again, another thing where I'm just like, I can't, I can't seem to just kind of like enjoy the car. So those are my gripes thus far. So I've only had the car, I don't know, a couple weeks now or three weeks, three or four weeks and I per probably put about a hundred miles on it. That's about all the miles I put since having the car. And they're okay, a hundred miles, but again, not not great. Cause every time I press the brake, it's like squealing like you would not believe. All right, that's it for now.